What is going on, folks? Cannabis Stock News today here, taking a look at the Liberty Health Sciences uh, earnings report from June 26th in the morning. Uh, this is uh, midday June 26th right now. I'm recording this. Uh, here's the headline. Liberty Health Sciences generates $17.8 million Canadian dollars revenue in fiscal Q4. Liberty Health Sciences announces a record revenue increase in fiscal t- year 2020 financial results, 401% growth. Combined revenue for the year ended is $50 million. Let's see here. Going on in this article on the New Cannabis Ventures website, a provider of high-quality cannabis announced its f- financial results for fiscal year 2020 ending February 29, 2020, consolidated net sales for fiscal year and February 29th were 50 million compared with 10 million for fiscal year and February 28th, 2019. Liberty's al- aggregate operating expenses decreased from 25.5 million for fiscal year 2019 to 25.1 million for fiscal year 2020 ending in February 2019. Small reduction in operating expenses. The company recorded net income for the fiscal year end February 29, 2020 of 22 million, which includes the gain of the sale property of 14.2 million compared to a net loss of 22.2 million for the fiscal year end February 28, 2019. So that was an improvement, quite a big improvement there. Um, the significant year over year increase in revenue was driven by the company's introduction of more than 200 new products, the new opening of n- new dispensaries, expanded delivery and structure, infrastructure, as well as upsurge in. in same store sales volume and an increase in registered patent base for medical marijuana use in Florida. Okay, increase in registered patent patient base. Sorry about that. <clears throat> As of February 29th, 2020, Liberty maintained 24.9 million of cash and cash equivalents compared to 13.2 million in cash and cash equivalents at February 28, 2019. As of February 29, 2020, Liberty maintained 24.9 million of cash and cash equivalents compared to 13.2 in cash and cash equivalents in 2019. All right, those numbers are both higher. That looks like these two uh, are a typo in the little website here because they're the same paragraph, but it's a good good paragraph for Liberty. Liberty's product offerings include 11 outstanding uh, quality brands, including Liberty Health Sciences, Zension, Pretty Pistol, Papa's Herb, Mary's Medicinals, Pax, G-Pen, Lemon and Grass, Clarity, Dom Pen, and Honey Vapes. The company has made significant strides in maximizing efficiencies to achieve economies of scale and continue to grow in Florida while steadily expanding its dispensary footprint and product offerings. End of year fiscal 2020 proved to be the highest net revenue increase in company's history and reflects our customer loyalty of strength and of our brand, said Victor Mensebo, Chief, Chief Exec- Executive Officer of Liberty. All right, it says here, Liberty's continued growth directly ties to the strategic initiative we've set in place, which has been increasing our Florida production, retail base, and footprint, along with expanding our product portfolio and brand partnerships. We continue to work on innovative strategies that complement our expansion plans while at the same time our patients provide our patients a more accessible medicine platform 
Liberty currently operates 25 dispensaries across Florida in the following locations. Let's look at this. Boca Raton, Palm Harbor, Bonita Springs, Panama City, Brenton, Pensacola, Cape Coral, all these other cities here. And here's some down to Orlando, West Palm Beach, Tampa, etc., etc., Miami. Um, here's some operational highlights. Liberty currently operates 25 dispensaries throughout Florida. Company uh, implemented health and safety measures for employees, patients, and facilities following guidance from public health officials worldwide in response to the COVID-19 pandemic to ensure adequate in-store products supply and customer convenience due to increased demand. Liberty has lease agreements in place for 10 additional locations and is negotiating for another 10 locations. That's a lot. The company received Florida Department of Health approval on its LH360 Innovative Campus, which encompasses a grand total of 190,000 square feet of cultivation space, with an additional 50,000 uh, square feet of processing and manufacturing space. All right, health, appro health approval. Um, li Liberty secured GPM certification on LHS360 Innovation Campus. In March 19, sorry, in March 2019, Liberty received approval from Florida Department of Health to dispense flower-derived products. In May 2019, Liberty expanded executive leadership team with the appointment of finance veteran Sherry Cholodovsky to CFO. In June 2019, Liberty introduced Zenshin to all dispensaries as its new house brand of product along with Pretty Pistol. Sentient represents a line of premium CBD and THC balanced products including topicals, vapes, oral solutions made from proprietary formula of ultra high quality cannabinoids. The company entered in, in a in license agreement with work shop in June 2019 for its patented and patient pending terpene technology. The workshop is a world-renowned scientific consulting group recognized as, as the leaders in cannabis terpene analysis and terpene-based formulas formulations. In August 2019, the company sold its Chestnut Hill tree farm site in Alchua County, Florida and all its assets in Ohio. Liberty partnered with iHeartJane to offer real-time inventory online for an improved shopping experience. In January 2020, Liberty formally appointed Victor Mancebo as president and CEO as a direct result of Liberty achieving strong results under his leadership as interim CEO for 12 months. Liberty is a cannabis provider uh, committed providing to providing high quality cannabis experience based on genuine care for all cannabis users and a focus on operational excellence from seed to sale. All right, folks, that's the end of the article from New Cannabis Ventures about the, uh, this was the article about the uh, the earnings revenue, of course, for Liberty Health Sciences. I'm going to take a quick look on the rankings button here at New Cannabis Ventures, a great little website for all this information about cannabis companies. Now, if you click on rankings, you'll see the dollar reporting, the U.S. dollar reporting, and you'll see, if you scroll down, you'll see the Canadian dollar reporting. So um, Liberty is on the Canadian list. What I like to do is click on Adjusted Operating Income, and we can rank those. You see, truly, is this is in, a, in American dollars. These are uh, truly Scott's Miracle Grow, Innovative, uh, sorry, IPR, Green Thumb. These are the ones that are positive. C season one, C sorry, C21 Investments and Plant 13 Holdings. And if you scroll down to the Canadian side, put them in order by adjusted operating income. 
these are the ones with positive adjusted operating income and boom here's Liberty Hill Scientist num uh, Sciences uh, it's number one for adjusted operating income on the Canadian dollar reporting side for all cannabis companies Valens Alifia and Alcana also and as well as High Tide and Delta 9 also coming in the positive side of things for the adjusted operating income. You see 413% year-over-year growth. That's enormous. Comparing to these other numbers, it's one of the very highest ones. And of course, year-over-year -year growth is very high compared to all these numbers as well. 10% quarter growth. And there's the 178 Canadian million dollars of quarterly sales. Let's take a look at what uh, Liberty Health is doing on the daily chart. Um, after, so again, this is a, uh, midday on Friday, June 26, and um, here's the daily chart. You'll see the lows are still increasing on the daily chart. There was a pop in the morning after the news announcement and some selling going on, but still the lows are maintaining an increase here. All right. I see three uh, white soldiers on June 20, sorry, June 18th, 19th, and 22nd. And these three white sol soldiers are maintaining pretty strong. And I see the, these as a directional upwards arrow, folks. I'm um, wondering what the uh, one hour chart is looking like right now, midday here on uh, Friday. And you see it's it's just, uh, there's that big sell off where it went all the way up to uh, almost 41 cents. And now it's dropped down to 37.50. Um, I think it, it's going to hold a, you see that green bar just came in. So I think it's going to, I think it's going to hold this uh, low 37.25 line. Um Definitely, I think it's going to hold uh, 36.70. So I don't think it's going to drop more than another cent from where it's at, in my opinion. And I think it's going to shoot upwards. I mean, all these days are um, the lows are all getting higher. And that's our look at Afri uh not Afria this time. We're looking at <laughs> LHSIF. That's Liberty Health Sciences. Um, the earnings report was very good. Some selling, and we'll see how it goes with. Uh, next week for Liberty Health Sciences on the charts. Remember to smash that like button and that subscribe button. This is Cannabis Stock News Today. See you next time.